Hiya, I'm Kay from the Brinker Bedlam blog and I'm going to show you today how to make paper boats for Izzy Wizzy Playfest. And I've been dying to say this. Um, here's one I made earlier. Okay, now what I'm going to do is um, show you exactly how to make these. Right, so this is exactly how you make them. Fingers crossed it will work and it won't rip. There is a bit of a knack to it. It's good to use coloured paper that makes it look more interesting. Oh, or if you want to use um, something like a, a magazine, uh, a kids magazine, so that um, it looks eye-catching. Okay, so what we're doing now is finding the middle. Literally, two folds. And you open it out again. And what you need to do is to make what looks like an arrow. So you fold like that, so if you can see, like that, then you fold a flap, fold up like that, turn it over and a flap that way. So at this point you have a paper hat. And then you fold over, see this is how it is now, then you have to fold over these corners here keep it in place. So you fold that like that and that like that and at this point I cheat and I use sellotape. I think if you do proper origami that's a um, very very bad thing to do but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. So you fold that over there. So if you can see there we have a triangle. Now, this is the really tricky bit. You have to hold it like this between your fingers and turn up the corners. Slowly but surely, just working your way around and turning it up like that. Okay, so. Turn it and turn it and turn it and then quick tug at the sides, light flat, push it down and you have a little boat. Mm. Now I'll just show you, it does actually float. Ooh. Okay. And ta-da! And again, ta-da! Okay, and what you can do is if, you, if you're outside and you, you're in the middle of a garden or anything, you could always add rose petals and pretend that they're sailors, um, flowers to decorate it, whatever you want really. And it just makes them look nice. And it means that they might float a little bit longer while the kids play with them um, because at some point they're going to want to jump on them and splash. But uh, it prolongs their life a little bit. So there you are, how to make paper boats. Thank you.